Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this lecture. Uh, so uh, today uh, we'll be uh, looking at how uh, we can uh, map uh, global forest and unforced data using the EarthEngine uh, Python API and uh, Colab environment. Uh, so as you can see, this is a Colab um, notebook. Um, and uh, we'll uh, first uh, have to, um, so mind you that um, Earth Engine is by default installed in the Colab, Google Colab environment. So Google Colab is um, a cloud-based, um, so to speak, Jupyter Notebook, if you're familiar with a Jupyter Notebook. Um, so first you need to import uh, Earth Engine, uh, import EE, that will import the Earth Engine uh, um, library and you need to authenticate uh, that uh, your credential and initialize uh, the earth engine platform before you start any analysis so um, I'll go ahead and then um, you'll go ahead and then execute this code uh, in your case I've already authenticated here um, so once you run this it will just um, give you a link you click that link and it will go to your Gmail account uh, copy that um, credential and then paste it here in the in the space below here and then you'll successfully um, uh, authorize or authenticate the Earth Engine library and then once you do that um, import the global Pulsar data it's a SAR data um, um, so import that image collection as you can see here uh, this is the image collection I imported from the Earth Engine uh, data archive or data library and um, uh, I'll filter it by data. In this case, my start date would be um, January 1st, 2017. And I'll provide a, an end date for this um, timestamp. Uh, it's uh, December 31st. And um, I'll uh, aggregate this uh, image collection by using a median aggregation or statistics, which would calculate the median pixel value um, uh, over the entire image collection. Um, and once I, I do that, um, and this data has different layers, um, so I'll, I'll use the forest and unforest uh, uh, data. So in that case, I'll just call, call this um, image collection and I'll, I'll select my specific data layer, which is FNF, uh, the forest and unforest data. And once I, um, uh, I did that, um, I'll create some visualization parameter here. Um, as always, I will define the minimum and maximum value. I get that from the uh, data itself, the minimum and maximum value, and I uh, define some um, you know color parameters here. Th this color parameters you can get them from either Color Brewer or HTML color code. Um, and I'll go ahead and execute that. And next step is to actually uh, develop a, a map visualization. Um, environment using the folium package and this function uh, will create a map uh, canvas as you see below and once I execute that I'll, uh, I'll see my um, global forest and unforced data using the the pulsar or SAR data excellent so it's loading now um, so I'll just go ahead and then zoom out um, to see what I have uh, in terms of the data so as you can see here uh, deep green is um, you know mostly a forested area and the yellow is non forested area as you can see it, it kind of makes sense that if you look at some of the tropical forest in, in the in the Congo basin and the Amazon basin is um, classified as forested and some of the the Sahara desert and other other parts of the world are non forested that means other land cover classes so this is a global data um, you can subset it for your own study area if you want to, uh, but that's how you can, um, you know, um, import and um, uh, visualize uh, a global forest and unforest data using, um, you know, Pulsar data on the Earth Engine Python API.